An important point to note here is the difference between your project settings, which relate to only the file type settings that have already been used to prepare your project. So if you use this and it was set to always process hyperlinks, it's too late now. No matter what you do, you're not going to be able to change that. You need to prepare the project again without this setup that way. And to do that, you need to go to File Options, not Project Settings, and in there, change it. So if I if I, if I leave, I'll show you the difference. If I leave that, it always process hyperlinks. If I just open that hub, a little PowerPoint that I just created very quickly, in here you can see I've got my three tagged um, URLs in there. If I go through to here and go back to my settings, and I make that never process hyperlinks, and I do the same thing again. Now the tags are not there. So it definitely works. It's just a question of when you have done it. It's no use doing it after the files are prepared. It has to be done before the files are prepared. Um, and while I'm at it then, just to show you how the other option works, if I go back to here and I say always process hyperlinks, and if I just open that file up again just quickly, and if I save it just to create a mini project, so there's my hyperlinks, if I close that now, so my projects I've got, in fact, on the files, there's my file ready to go. And you saw that it had the um, um, hyperlinks, hyperlinks in there. So if I take the toolkit, STLX the toolkit, which looks like this, and if I just drop, if I drop the project file, it's the same as dropping the STLX lib. The STLX lib will just drop that one file. If I had like, 200 files in my project, dropping the STL proj in there would take all 200 files in. So it's a very quick way to get them all in. All you do then is you click on Generate DSI. And the tag structure, if I go back to Studio just so you can see this, just to remind you of this. See down here it's a tag. It's tag content, tag. So if I close this, it's that tag content that I'm interested in, that one there. So if I say, okay, take that one and let's, um, let's make it translated. Oh, before I do that, let's copy source to target. So copy source to target, set it as translated and lock it. I think that should do it. There you go. So it's now fully translated, locked and ready to go. And I could have done that across the whole project in one go. Definitely the easiest way to go if you've already done it. Hope that helps.